hello and welcome back to my channel i am back with another new in at tesco video i know we all love tesco's and there's a few items that you guys have been tagging me in so as soon as i got back off my holiday i went to tesco and thankfully they had the things that i wanted to try so i hope they're good i hope you guys enjoy this one if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you're new here let's crack on with the taste test i think i'm gonna start with a Nutella biscuit. These have been out for a while, but I do think they're new at Tesco because I don't know why I never would have tried them before. And after I tried the, what are they called, like Moments, they were really good. And a few people commented saying, you have to try the Nutella one. So here I am, you get loads in there. Okay. I've had these in the fridge. I don't know if I've made a mistake with this. Mm. I thought it was hard at first, but it's not. It is definitely like the Nutella consistency. I wouldn't say I'm blown away. The biscuit is quite basic. It's not like a buttery biscuit or anything. I don't know. Yeah, the biscuit brings nothing to the table, essentially. <laughs> it just says a crunchy golden baked biscuit. I don't even know what biscuit I could compare it to. I don't know. I think it could be a bit better. I mean, Nutella makes everything good, but I wouldn't be buying these again. Next up, we have Aero Caramel Yogurts. Also, how cool is the new packaging? It's like in a completely see-through, I don't know what you call it, carton. <laughs> hmm. I wasn't too much of a big fan of the Aero Caramel bar. Actually, all the buttons. So, but I wanted to see if this was any better. It's definitely nicer than the bars. The caramel bar gave, I don't know, I just didn't like the caramel flavour. It has like a burnt flavour. But this is not bad, but it's not, I would say it's probably too subtle. It doesn't really taste too much different from the normal one. Maybe it tastes a bit more creamier, but I'm really not getting caramel in that at all. Not an exciting new product at all. I wish they could just do like a little caramel swirl or something, but not for me. Wouldn't be buying them again. Next up, we have a new flavour of squishies. So these are banana and blueberry. One of my favourite sweets, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about this flavour. Hmm. Okay. The blueberry flavour actually complements the banana really well. Although I would say that the banana is such a strong flavour, it kind of overpowers it a little bit. I'm going to say it's one of the nicer banana products. Like, I'm not one of those big foam banana lovers. But I don't mind them at the same time. Not for me, so I wouldn't buy them again. I've got quite a big taste test now. I've got things that I'm excited for. Normally, I do the ones I'm excited for more at first. And then I'm just left with the products that I'm like, Ugh, at the end of it. <laughs> so I'm trying to save some of the things that will be better to the end of the video. Just a pre-warning, you know, to keep you guys watching. Next up... These are from the bakery section. So we have hazelnut praline cookies. These have potential to be delicious. Oh my God, they smell so strong. What is that bit there? Like it kind of looks caramelized. You can smell that straight away as soon as that comes out. It's a really overpowering smell. Mm. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try from the middle. Mm, I really don't like that. The flavour kind of goes up the back of your nose. I don't know what the caramel bit is, or unless that was just maybe the hazelnuts caramelised or something. I have nothing to say, apart from I don't like it. Sorry, I'm trying to think of like how I can describe it, and I really don't know. I just think it was too nutty, but not in a good way. Not for me, won't be buying them again. Next item, we have these Naan Bites by Kettle Chips. I couldn't remember if I've tried these. I've tried so many things now that I start looking at things, and I'm like, have I tried? Have I? Because there was things that I see and I'm like, I 1 million percent tried that about a year ago. So yeah, like crisps and different flavours of crisps. I'm like, I have no idea what I've tried anymore. So I know I definitely haven't tried this flavour because I would have remembered. So these are spiced onion bhaji with chilli and toasted onion, which sounds unreal. I love onion bhajis. Wow, they smell unreal. Look at that. The smell is definitely more flavoursome. If that was a crisp, but I think the thickness of it kind of takes away from the flavour. I mean, they taste lovely. They're nice. I'll finish the bag, but I just don't know how sold I am on the bites themselves. They are very thick. I'm definitely going to try these with some mango chutney later, but for now, I would say wouldn't buy these again. So, so far, I wouldn't buy any of these things again. <laughs> Should we try these? So these are Weetabix baked with golden syrup. When I saw these, 
I was like, yes, 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 yes. I mean, could be no, 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 but I'm gonna hope that these are really good. So I'm gonna go and mash one up. Don't even bother coming at me about how I eat my Weetabix, but yeah, I'm gonna mash one of these up. Lots of milk, see what I think. All right, I'm back. Not smelling of much. So why did I blow it as if it was hot? Hmm. They've gone soggy a lot quicker than Weetabix usually go. I mean, I eat Weetabix about three or four times a week. <laughs> I don't like them. Sorry, I just don't. And my taste buds messed up. Whatever the flavour is, it's very, very subtle. Golden syrup is normally really sweet. And there's no sweetness to this, I don't think. I love the taste of Weetabix like that. I don't know, I just love them. I just think, you know when people are like Weetabix, meh, but I actually love Weetabix, but that, for me, has got rid of the nice Weetabix flavor that I know and love, and has replaced it with some, I don't even know. Please, if you've tried these, can you let other people know in the comments below what your thoughts are? This is the type of product loads of people would buy, wouldn't buy them again, and I've got a whole pack of them, and there's no way I'm gonna be picking them out in the morning over my normal Weetabix. Oh my God, I'm so sad. Let's move on to something I think I will definitely like. Oh well, it's what it is. Okay, next up. These are caramelized biscuit bites. Now they had a whole range of these. I think there was like three different ones and I found it hard to pick. I can't remember what there was though. I think there was like maybe salty caramel brownie bites. Honestly, I don't know, but I picked these because it says Belgium white and Belgium blonde chocolate coated caramelized biscuit pieces with marshmallows and crisped rice which sounds amazing oh my god how cool so you press this little thing down and then you twist it's like a kid's toy now if i didn't think they were sweet these definitely smell sweet okay they taste like christmas i really don't know why but i'm getting like that spiced flavor that you get at christmas I'm half tempted to pretend I like these, but I'm not a fan. I know that like blonde chocolate again has a very distinctive taste. I love the texture and everything, but I'm not getting blonde chocolate. I'm getting, I'm trying to think what it resembles. Kind of like when you have a gingerbready chocolate. There's definitely no, maybe it's just the caramelized flavor that I'm thinking is tastes kind of spiced. I'm really not sure. Emma's gonna come round in a bit, so I'm gonna get her to try them. And I'm gonna get her to tell me what she thinks. Once again, another purchase that I will not be making again. Just a quick interruption. As I mentioned there, I said that Emma was coming round and I would get her to try some of the things and those specific bites being one of them, I got her to try and also her brother tried them and they both agreed that they weren't nice. I also got her to try like four other things that I thought weren't nice and I was like, please give me your opinion on these. She agreed with me, so I feel validated, okay? I wasn't having an off day, Tesco was. All right, all right, let's get on with them. We have the fiber one bars, but the donut. So I got both flavors because I couldn't decide. First impressions are, if they're donuts, why are they this thin? Because even the fiber one boxes, like the thin little things, are in a more thicker box than these. So when I picked these up, I was like, oh, okay. So are they low calorie because they're just flat? What should we go for first? Let's go for the strawberry and cream first. So I didn't I didn't think about how small they would be, but they're absolutely teeny. And you get, I think, yeah, you get four of it. Ooh. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think they would actually be like kind of glazed like a donut. The texture is a donut. I thought that these were going to be very gimmicky. The flavour is quite subtle, but nice. I think that they could have done strawberries and cream very wrong, but it's subtle. I love the glaze. Look, if you're in a calorie deficit and you're sick to death of fibre one bars, these are definitely going to be a new favourite. I would buy them again. I'm excited to try the chocolate now. And also, please don't get me wrong. Don't go to these thinking they're like actual donuts. They're low calorie snacks. They might not be to everybody's cup of tea. These remind me of the little chocolate donuts you get in Spain. Is it all in my teeth? Ugh. This one looks better, but I prefer the flavor 
of these. This chocolate flavour is more artificial, but absolutely love the concept. And we'll definitely be picking these over the Fibre One bars for a while. Probably until I get sick of them. Also, when I tell you I got sent these, I got tagged left, right and centre. Next up, we have another bakery section. And these looked unbelievable. They say butter pastry swirl filled with cinnamon filling coated in cinnamon sugar. These smell unreal. Mmm. I will say the bottom looks a bit underdone, but I feel like this is a proper cinnamon swirl. Let's take out the middle. <gasps> mmm. No. I should have put this in the oven. I'm going to do it with the other one. No, don't go out of date until tomorrow. Oh my god. Definitely the best supermarket cinnamon swirl. I feel like that's actually a proper one. What are they even called? Buns. Scroll. We'll definitely be buying these ones again. Can't wait to heat one up. Next up, we have the new chocolate party ring. So we all know what a party ring is, but now they've brought out a chocolate version. So how many bags you get? Five mini bags. I love party rings, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about chocolate ones. Hmm, giving me bourbon vibes. I personally am not a bourbon lover, so I'm probably not the best person to ask on, on your opinion. But I love the flavour of party ring, so I feel like sometimes when you have that flavour in your head and you taste something that you think is going to resemble that flavour, you can be a bit like, mm. But for bourbon lovers who is looking for a nice little snack, and for kids probably who are chocolate lovers, they're definitely a good alternative. I mean, they taste nice, but just not a bit of me. So once again... <laughs> I will not be buying these again. Here we have the cheddar and smoked paprika flavour. I think these come in the big bag as well, but I thought it's better for me to get stuff in a smaller bag. I personally love mini cheddars and I love paprika, so high hopes. Are they really... Oh, they're small version. Oh no, is that... Is that I don't know, I can't really remember now. Oh, they smell nice. Mmm. Oh yeah, they're a bit of me. I needed some savoury there. I think I was having a bit of a sweet overload. They're really nice. I do think they are smaller. The consistency is a bit different to a normal mini cheddar. They're a lot more crunchy. But then it also just does so nibbly, 30% less fat. So it must be a whole different recipe, I guess. And I'd definitely buy them again. Okay, next up we have the new Kit Kat Bites. Kit Kat isn't a go-to for me, but I love the Kit Kat, like, you know the mini Santas that you get at Christmas? So I'm hoping it resembles them. Hmm. I think they might just be a bit too small. It's kind of like, I don't know, it felt like there was barely any crispy bit in that. I mean, you can see from the picture it's not going to be a mini Kit Kat with, like, all the wafers, but it feels like it's got barely any wafer and it's kind of, like, liquid in the middle. Yeah, definitely way too small in my opinion. That's not a win for me. Wouldn't buy them again. I think I need to take about six months off of snack taste test videos because I'm fed up of all of these things that I don't love. We've only got two items left. So next one I have is a chocolate coated sugar waffle. So it says Belgium chocolate waffle baked in a waffle iron. In waffle iron. In a waffle iron. And coated with rich Belgian milk chocolate for an indulgent treat. So here we have them. These look good. They had these come out and they also had just the sugar coated ones. But I've gone for the chocolate ones. Definitely melting in my fingers. I used to love these where i used to work this was like a when you'd be like oh let's get in breakfast when you do a supermarket like run you used to get them in morrison's and they were amazing this one minute this is not one of the better ones that i've had sorry it's literally melting in my fingers and i can't talk with it in my hands it's nice but i've definitely had better ones of them that are cheaper like i said i'm pretty sure it was morrison's that we used to get them from and they were unreal but that seems to be lacking like usually they have more of the sugary crunch which you can see the sugar on the bottom but it's not got that same texture and crunch quite an average one it's tesco finest so you'd think it would be really good but i wouldn't go back for these ones again although these types of waffles are usually really good so Tesco finest, that's not a win for me. All right, let's end on something spicy. Flavour did I get again? Hot sauce blaze. Maybe I need this to bring my taste buds back to life. 
Yeah, they smell hot. Oh yeah, so these are the Max Strong ones. They did have, I love how they say perfect with beer. They're indirectly like trying to aim it more at men because men usually drink beer. They had other flavors like chicken wings maybe or something, I don't know. Oh, oh my God, do a few for fun. Oh no. Oh, they're so spicy. Yeah. They've got that horrible hot sauce taste. They're not even nice and spicy. They're just spicy. Well, that concludes one of the worst taste tests I've ever done. I'm going to give one favourite item, which was the cinnamon scrolls, because they were really good. And I know once heated up, they're going to be amazing. I will say the fibre one, my ear's gone light. I feel like that's popped my ear, them spicy stuff. I will say that the fibre one donuts surprised me. I really thought that they were just like going to be a gimmick and they wasn't... Why is that making my throat go? <sighs> yeah, they were definitely a lot better than I thought they would be. Sad day for taste tests. Anyway, I hope you guys like seeing what's new because just because I don't like them doesn't mean you won't. So definitely give anything that you think looks good a try. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.